There are some new findings in ozone modeling. Joining me today is Dr. Paul Newman with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Newman. Thanks, Kristen. Let's launch right into this when it comes to ozone. First of all, what kind of ozone are we talking about? And what are these new findings that you guys have? Ozone is a molecule that absorbs harmful solar ultraviolet radiation. We kind of break up ozone into the good ozone that's screening ultraviolet radiation. And then there's the bad ozone down at the surface, which is pollution. With this new model, are you guys looking at the good ozone and the bad ozone? What's, what's the goal? The reason we care, because we're trying to not only forecast surface pollution events, mm -hmm. but we're also trying to forecast exactly what's going on overhead. So for example, we have what's called the famous Antarctic ozone hole that's down over the Antarctic continent. We pay close attention to how the ozone hole evolves. We look to see if there are similar ozone depletion events going into the Arctic is pretty good. Arctic ozone levels are, are pretty high right now, which is, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Screens all that UV, plants can go grow better during the springtime, less sunburn. Um, so, so that's a good situation. This is what we use the model for on a day-to-day mm -hmm. basis. Is that similar to a weather forecasting model where it's showing you this could happen in two, three, four days from now? Yes. Um, we use it as both a weather model to understand, and, and we run it out to 10 days, actually. So we're getting a long-term look at what's happening over the U.S. But we can also use it as a climate model. That is, we can put in long-term changes um, and look at timescales of 10 to 100 to a few hundred years um, in seeing how, as some of the chlorofluorocarbons um, are changing, their levels are changing with time very slowly, but their levels are changing with time. We expect the ozone hole over Antarctica, for example, to get better.